we're heading to one of Wisconsin's most unique tourist experience. It's been described as quirky, weird, and exploding with imagination. We're going to House on the Rock. Let's go down that road. Hello, faithful people. I'm Orlean. I'm Derek. And we are going to House on the Rock today. We have not been to House on the Rock since we were chaperones for a couple of our kids field trips when they were in grade school. <laughs> it's been years and it just happens that one of our kids wants to go there with their children. Um, we will not be able to show you our family. They, they do not do social media and they do not want to be posted in or shown in any of our videos or anything. So unfortunately you won't be able to meet them but you might hear some squills from time to time and that'll our little voices speaking and uh, that'll be fun. So anyway, we're gonna go to House on the Rock. Um, there's some, a, a lot of misconceptions about this House on the Rock. Some people think it was built by Frank Lloyd Wright. No, it was not. It was built by Alex Jordan Jr. He came up with the idea back in 1945 and it was built in 1960. It has 13 rooms, it has outdoor gardens, and the rooms are like humongous rooms. And it's got different themes, it's got all kinds of um, artifacts from all over the world. It's just a fascinating place. It has about a million visitors per year that come to House on the Rock. This is going to be a little bit of a splurge for us. We don't normally do things that cost money. We usually try to do things that don't, but this is well worth the admission price. It has the world's largest indoor carousel, a 200 foot long giant fish of some kind. I think it's supposed to be a whale. There's a lot. It's about a three hour tour, and there are actually three different tours you can do. Besides all of that that I've already described, there's a house, the actual house on the rock. It's, it goes way out on this big piece of limestone rock, and it's been a Wisconsin landmark for since the 1960s. In 1988, Jordan sold the house on the rock, for $17.5 million. This is gonna be fun. is open year round. Ready for the tour? 
Here we go.
took us four and a half hours. <laughs> <laughs> they say on the average you should uh, you should allow about three for sure, and that's why they don't allow anybody to come in after three o'clock in the afternoon. So make sure you allow plenty of time. We had little ones with us so that maybe slowed us down a little bit, although there were times that I think that made us go faster. <laughs> <laughs> but it was awesome. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was so hard to edit this because there was so much and I didn't show you everything. I just tried to show you more of the highlights, which was just about everything. It was hard <laughs> to decide what was a highlight. <laughs> but anyway, hope you enjoyed it. It's located in Wisconsin, in the southern part of Wisconsin, uh, by uh, between Spring Green and Dodgeville. If you want to look on the map and see that, it's not too far from Madison, uh, not very far away from like Baraboo or uh, Wisconsin Dells. If you're doing any vacationing there, it's definitely worth going to. It is awesome. So I hope you like this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do that down below by hitting the red button and then next to the bell is going to pop up. Ring the bell and then you will be notified every time new videos come up. Check out our Facebook page, Roads of Faith, and until next time, God, God bless. bless.